Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. This one on the idea of um, sort of along the lines of combinations and permutations and answering the question, how many ways is it possible for a set number of people to sit around a table? So um, I'm going to ask the question, how many ways can five people sit in a circle or around the table? So if this was a line, it'd be a pretty easy question. How many ways can five people line up in a line? So it'd be, you know, if you got five positions, one, two, three, four, five. So, you know, five, four, three, two, one. So five factorial or 120. So there's, you know, you have five positions in a line. So you choose the first person, you have five choices. Then there's four people left, so you have four choices now. Three, two, one. So there'd be 120 arrangements possible for the people to line them in that line. However, in a circle, it's a little bit different. Let me just draw you a couple of examples. So if you have five people sitting around a circle, one, two, three, four, five. So let's just call them A, B, C, D, and E. Well... If I draw another circle, and I can sort of have the same kind of idea, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, D, and E. So you sort of get the idea that these arrangements are kind of the same. They're not, um, they appear to be different, but the relative position of the people haven't changed. So A is sitting next to B. And A is sitting next to E. It's the same thing over here. A is sitting next to E. And A is sitting next to B. So just the same right here. So you can actually do this, of course, five times. So in order to get this answer, or how many ways can um, five people sit in a circle, we have to take account for those repeated arrangements. So what we do in order to do that, we take 120 and we divide by the five possible arrangements um, that get repeated. So 120 divided by 5 is, of course, 24. So that's the way, how many ways five people can be arranged to sit in a circle. Now, of course, there's a much easier way to do this question, and that's knowing the formula. So um, really, the general way of finding this for any value of n is n, and I say n, pick n over n. So in our case, that would be five. How many ways can five people be chosen to sit in a line of five? And then divide it by n. So that would be just like we had, 120. Five, pick five is 120. Divide it by five, which is 24. Now another way that I like to do, this is how I show my students, is that the number of possible ways you can sit in a circle is n minus 1 factorial. So instead of actually using this way, you just go 5 subtract 1 factorial or 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. So this is probably the best way of doing it, using n minus 1 factorial. Um, so let's just do one more example. So let's say you had... Um, eight members sitting around a table, so you'd have n is equal to eight, so that would be the same as um, eight, pick eight, divide by eight. No, I'm not going to attempt, I'm going to just really calculate this pretty quick here. So um, I'll just throw it into my calculator, eight, pick eight. And that's a really big number, 40,320, divided by 8, and that gives me back 5,040. So I could have did the same thing if I did n minus 1 factorial, which is the same as 8 minus 1 factorial, which is 7 factorial. So I just do 7 factorial real quick on my calculator. I should know what the answer is, but I just want to verify it. And of course, I get the exact same thing, 5040. So guys, I hope this helps. Um, this is a great multiple choice question on a commutations permutations unit or 
uh, pre-calculus 12 final exam. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in class.